notes. So I won't go too long though, I promise. Well, so wow, this is a really nice place. Does anyone anyone have any idea how the town is? <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> so we have we have two personality types in, in my family when it comes down to emotions. We have we have the strong ones that always hold it together, me and my yeah. mom. Although I just yeah. saw you crying a little bit. So I, I, saw I said, you know, you're ruining my speech. Come on. Aww. So and then we have the really the really sappy, dramatic, corny, emotional, sensitive, nostalgic, sentimental, tender crybabies. <laughs> Brian and my dad. Yeah, so I, I thought I'd prepare just to be safe by getting a few oh. tissues for you. Some tissues. Yeah, and here I get one out, out that way as well, so you're all safe. Right? So we're good with that. All right. So, and, and it's funny. So before the before the whole ceremony, which was really nice and beautiful this this, this afternoon, I said to the priest, I said, you know, what, you're going to need something. I said, you might want to get your janitor floor out and put this <laughs> right right down in front, because it'll give you a lot of tears. So you're gonna wanna put that right down there, make sure no one slips right in front of the altar. But he said, you know, that's not a good idea. I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> said, All right, fine. But you know, emotions aren't the only things that have made Brian cry. Growing up, he was always terrified of anything dressed up. So, Santa or, or the Easter Bunny, Hats. clowns, Hats. all led to hysterical crying, like outbursts. So, yeah, yeah. Our grandpa, when he put crazy hats on his head, is what he just said. So, I, I remember once our parents took us to this really scary, scary place. And, you know, I don't know why they would do this. I don't know. I think it was a punishment or something. It was really it was scary anyway, it seemed, from, from the way Brian was reacting to it. He, he told me in tears about his encounters with his killer rat, a maniacal duck, and rabid chipmunks. I don't know. I thought Disney World was fun. I mean, Mickey Mouse, you know, Donald Duck, I thought they're great, but he was ter absolutely, absolutely terrifying. And Brian, are you getting choked up here? Let me get, let me, you know, just from the, from the memory of it, let me get you. Let me get you. You good now? You good now? Right. Well, I'm, I'm happy you've actually got tissues now, because this is where I get the chance to be all touching and heartfelt. So, Brian, you know, even though I'm older than you, I feel like you've taught me so much. You've shown me how through hard work and persistence you can overcome challenges no matter how long the odds there you go. <laughs> <laughs> You've shown me how to accept you, people and look past their disabilities to see all their abilities. Through you, I've been able to see the value of a strong network of friends and family, the people who are here today, the people who without, you wouldn't have gotten to the place you are today. That's true. That is true. That is true. <laughs> and, and you've also made it clear to me just how lucky we are to have a set of parents who love us, love each other, put us first, advocate for us, and help us achieve our dreams. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Good thing I bought them both at, at Costco. I mean, I was like, really in trouble. Can I throw these out? Can I start with giveaways? But I couldn't have asked for a better little brother. I love you. Here's some more tissues. Just so, uh, so today is an absolute dream come true, marrying Jessica. Jessica, you're, you're Brian, you're a very lucky man. A very lucky man. You found someone who is so beautiful, so kind, so caring, so sweet, and so loving. I'm so happy for you guys. I really am. I love you both. Congratulations, everyone. Please join me in wishing Woo! Brian and Jessica a life together Woo! filled with love, health, and happiness. Cheers. Yeah.